Kourtney Kardashian. First, I'm gonna start by doing my morning skincare routine and then my makeup look for when I do my own makeup. And I do really simple, simple makeup. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So today we're doing a purifying mask and this one is Root Science Facial Mask and you mix it yourself. This is a detox purifying and clarifying mask. Ooh, so today I am mixing it with honey, um, but you can mix it with water, you can mix it with anything. Honey is also antibacterial and full of antioxidants. Okay, then I'm using this brush. <laughs> this is very sticky and feels a little weird, but it's all for a good cause. I try to use clean beauty products as much as possible. The beauty reform laws have not been changed in 80 years, and it is sadly up to us as consumers to try and figure out what is safe and not safe, which is why I love EWG's app called Skin Deep, where you can tell what is safe and not safe. I started becoming obsessed with the products that I put on my kids' skin first, and then I started thinking about my own. The mask actually feels nice. You know how some masks really tighten up? I just did this crazy mask with Kim recently that she forced me to do, and my whole face was pulling. My eyeballs were pulled down here where my whole eye was open, and I couldn't take it. I don't like to waste time. So I am going to make my lip scrub. So I am mixing equal parts of honey and coconut oil, mixing it all together. And I just keep these products in my bathroom so that I can make them anytime. I love to do a lip scrub if, especially if I'm going to be wearing like a bright lip or a dark lip to make sure that your lips are really Soft. This is the, the raw sugar. Organic, of course, everything is organic. I store it in a little glass container like this, but I'm just showing you guys how to make it. Okay, then I take the scrub. And it tastes yummy. You can eat it. And while I'm sitting here, I'm gonna drink my avocado smoothie. So now I'm gonna wash this mask off and the lip scrub, and I use a muslin cloth instead of a washcloth. Okay, so then I use these fresh pads from my dermatologist, Christy Kid that are just pretty um, natural. They have tea tree oil and witch hazel, different things. They just keep my skin in check. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum is one of my most favorite products. I use it day and night. When I was drinking celery juice, it was making my whole body feel dehydrated. I will put this um, Caudalie Beauty Elixir spray. You can use any water spray though like and even you can just use water if you want and then I'll put a little oil it also gives a little glow under your makeup then every day I put on sunscreen whether it's raining sunny I love the Elta MD and this is a new product that I'm just started trying from them that has hyaluronic acid inside of it I have not worn sunscreen every day for my whole life. I used to always be afraid of sunscreen and would think that it would make me break out. And I put it on my hands, which is a trick that Chloe taught me. And I do this every day, no matter what, without fail. One more sip of my shake. Doing my skincare is like a moment of the day where I have to myself. I think doing my makeup is not something I look as forward to because I love getting my makeup done. I'm so busy that I love to sit and get other things done. Watch edits of our show, 
work on push, you know, have phone calls. And so doing my own makeup is more of a task, which I think is why I do this really quick makeup routine. One of the things I learned when I was getting my skin in check was that people would do my makeup and everyone would use different foundations. And so I started making everyone use this foundation that I love, it's Oxygenetics and it's healthy for your skin. And I mix two colors, honey and almond. And I swear that this is one of the things that helped really get my skin together. I apply this with my hands. I also do my skin before my eyes because I don't really, when I do my own makeup, I don't really do eyes. So I kind of do things a little backwards then the way that I see other people do. I do a little on my eyelids. I think I told Kendall about this too. I think she uses it. I have been using this under eye concealer forever. It's Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. And I'm scared to check the score because I just really love it. And in living your best life, not every single thing can be perfectly scoring well. So we do our best. And then I use this mini beauty blender just for under eyes. So I just kind of sweep this all over my face and I do not wear blush. So I like to do a little of it with bronzer. We are keeping it super simple, so I use the same bronzer to contour my nose, my eyelids, and bronze my face. And this is Kim's um, KKW Beauty Contour, and instead of drawing the lines on my face, I like to keep it a little more natural, so I put it on my hand. I take a brush. This is if just, I don't do this every time I do my makeup. This is like a once in a while if you just want a little extra. This is to cover any little spots that I'm not appreciating. I have been wearing makeup since eighth grade, I think. I mean, we didn't wear makeup to school. I think it was for like parties or on weekends. We would wear dark lipstick. Some translucent powder this one is laura mercier and i put my beauty blender into it and i just go over the spots that i don't want to be super shiny little mascara and i always curl my eyelashes first this is the troy surratt eyelash curler i'll watch my sisters do makeup tutorials and i'm like we do makeup so differently all of us this is my Lancome mascara. It says my name on it. Mascara isn't really going, you know, into your skin. So to me, I choose that that, like I don't feel as guilty. Okay, so I like to overline. This is a Kylie lip liner. Dolce K is the color and I love her lip liners. I think it's my favorite Kylie product. I use Kim and Kylie's lines for different things. I think it's amazing how they both come up with such different products. They're both serving my different makeup needs. And then a little, this is RMS Magic Hour. And I like the line to be a bit darker than the lipstick. 90s vibes. My daughter loves makeup. She has a little vanity in her room that my mom gave her for Christmas. I let her play and I try to keep her makeup as clean as possible. I'm filling in my eyebrows. I do it really, I pretty much stay with the shape. I don't do any crazy tricks or anything. I just kind of Fill in a bit. This is Luminizer. Sometimes I will put the tiniest touch on the sides, just right here, but I am not a fan of the crazy, like the contour, the highlighter, like that whole look is not my vibe. 
that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something about natural beauty. Bye guys.